Hi, this is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the honeycomb bracelet. This is a beginner level design. To make this bracelet you will need 8 A colored bands and 6 each of B, C, D, E, and F. You'll also need a C-clip. You may use any color combination of your choice when making this bracelet. Just be sure to closely follow the placement directions. All bands must be placed and looped in the correct order when making any design. Now, let's get started. Turn your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. Refer to the diagram on your screen to place the first six bands on your loom. You'll be forming a hexagon. You'll start from the middle pin, and the first band that you place will be 1A. You'll be using your A-colored band. Next, you'll place 2B. That goes up the side of the loom. And 3C will turn into the center. Then you go back to the first pin, and you'll place 4F. 5E and 6D. And push those down. I'll repeat this pattern one more time and then we'll fast forward to the end of the loom. We'll start from the end of the hexagon. and place one A, two B will go up the side, and three C will turn into the center. Then go back to the beginning, four F, five E, and six D. Pause the video here and refer to the diagram on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. We'll fast forward from here. and you place your last band into the center pin. Once you've reached the end of the loom, place an A-colored cap band on that last pin. You grab an A-colored band, put two fingers in each side, twist it into the figure eight, then loop it back upon itself and place it on that last pin. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn your loom around so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. This is a good time to push your bands so that they're about halfway down the pin because as you loop the bands you'll be placing those on top of these bands. I'll show you how that works in just a minute. So there we go. Okay. Refer to the graphic on your screen as we loop the first six bands. We'll start from the middle pin, and you'll pull back the cap band with your hook. You'll reach in and grab the top band on that pin, and you will be looping band 1D. Hold the cap band down with your thumb, and loop the band out to the left. Notice how it made this teardrop shape? That shows you that you grabbed the right band. The next band we loop will be 2E. You reach in and pull back that top D band, grab the E, and pull it forward. Again, notice how it made that teardrop shape. Band 3F will be pulled to the center, and then you return back to this first pin. We'll loop band 4C. You can reach in the side, swing it around, grab that band, and pull it 
out to the right. Again, notice that teardrop shape. Band 5B will be looping forward. Pull the C band back. Reach in and grab your B band and pull it to the forward pin. Band 6A will be looped to the center. And there we've finished looping our first hexagon. Let's move to the next one. We'll loop band 1D. Put all the bands above the D band back. Reach in, grab the D band with your hook, and pull it to the left. 2E will be looped forward. You can reach in here, swing it over, get the E band, and pull it forward. 3F. And then we return to the beginning of this hexagon. We'll loop band 4C to the right. Pull all the bands above the C band back. Grab it with your hook and pull out to the right. Band 5B will be looped forward. You pull those bands back and pull that forward. 6A will be looped to the center. And there we've completed looping our second hexagon. We'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. You may want to pause the video here until you reach the end of the loom. And here we pull that last band into the center pin. Now it's time to finish the bracelet. You'll pull all the bands on this last pin up to the top. Then you place your hook down through the channel of that last pin and tilt it out to the side. You'll grab an eight-colored band and place it on the end of your hook. Pull your hook back as you lift up through there and then place both bands on the end of your hook and slide it up to the thickest part. Now with your fingers pull the bands up off the loom Now we'll need to extend the bracelet to fit comfortably on a wrist. Position your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. To extend the bracelet, you must first decide how many additional bands you'll need. A smaller wrist may only need three or four bands. A larger wrist may need six or more. You place each one of the bands, one over the other, in a single chain going up the side of the loom. And then once you've placed the number of bands that you need, You'll place the cap band from your bracelet on this last pin. You locate the cap band at the end of your bracelet, and then you stretch that over the last pin and to the one right behind it. Then we loop these bands. And once we reach the end of the loom here, we stretch this last one to the middle pin. This creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. You grab your C-clip and hold it with the open side facing forward and then snap that securely on your band. Then you can lift your extension from the loom. You'll grab your hook, pull it away, your two fingers in there. This creates another area for you where you can attach the other side of your C-clip. You pull the bands to one side, pull your C-clip over that one, and secure that. And then there you have your finished hexagon bracelet. Mm -hmm.